water, earth, fire, air. Long ago, a four-star unit named Heizo came out. In vain had recorded two hours of footage, and only in vain the master of family-friendly content could edit it down. But when the world needed him the most, he procrastinated. He procrastinated a lot, a lot, okay? What's up guys, it's Invain here and in this video I'm going to show off how I spent 3000 resin to max out our Heizo. But not just that, we're also going to be specifically trying to turn him into, you guessed it, the Avatar. No, not that kind, the, the good one. No, not that one either, I said the good one. So, in this video I'll be going over what I farm for Heizo, we'll level him up together, his talents, his weapon and figure out what artifacts we're going to put on him. And then finally we'll be able to test him out as well. Also for this video, I'm going to be doing a slightly different format. I'm going to be putting less time into the intro and explanation at the start, and more talking as we play. So let me know if you guys enjoy this new format. My Heizo is currently level 6. He should only be level 1, but I started farming for friendship XP, and pretty much through the passive mob XP, whilst doing commissions, he somehow become level 6. And for those that catch me live on Twitch, I'm sure you guys will be happy to know we're finally leveling him up, he won't be stuck level 6 for much longer. Shameless plug for my Twitch by the way, I've been streaming there at least two times a week recently and it's been a lot of fun. So if you guys also want to join me live, why not follow my Twitch, link in the description, it's free to follow. Also while you're at it, why not join the community discord? You'll often find me hanging there with the rest of the community, and it's a great way to stay up to date with announcements and stream updates. Now back to the video. Oh my god that's so cute, what the hell? Okay so what did I spend my resin on? Well first things first. A solid chunk of it was spent on farming for boss materials. So about 780 resin was for this, which honestly in the grand scheme of things wasn't such a big pain to farm. Uh, at this point, I've gotten pretty used to farming the Ruined Serpent and it's honestly pretty easy. Next up, I've also farmed his talent material as well. Which one is it? I think it's this one. Or this one? Or this one? I forget, one of these. I've got I've quite, <laughs> quite a bit of everything. But this should be enough to take up his E and auto attacks up to level 8. And I'm thinking of leaving his burst actually at level 6, because from what I've seen online, it seems like most of his damage actually comes from his E and autos. In terms of artifacts, we'll take a look at what I've got, but essentially, whilst farming for Kazaha, I went through, oh, I've already deleted a lot of the artifacts here, and turned it into fodder, but I've got a lot of artifacts here, some crit, some EM, and we can go through and kind of see uh, what we end up deciding. But whilst farming for Kazaha, I dropped about 3,500 resin just for artifacts, so sure Surely there's some overlap there, right guys? And in terms of things that I've pre-farmed, that is about it. I got really lucky for this video where I can pretty much just steal another Catalyst's weapon. So I'm thinking I'm either going to take Ningguang's with the Solar Pearl or I'm going to take the Witsith from Mona. Currently, I'm leaning towards the Witsith just because there's 55% crit damage and it's also Refinement 5. So the passive is really, really strong. But if I did have to farm separately for it, that would be another 260 resin on top of that. So all in all, just under 2,000 resin spent on Heizo himself, and then I spent an additional 3,500 to farm Kazaha artifacts. So I guess if you go half and half, then that's another 1,000 on top, altogether roughly 3,000 resin to get Heizo to this point. But, 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 of all the things I farmed, they were all pretty easy. The one thing that I farmed that was not easy, it didn't even need resin. What is it? It's these freaking beetles, man. Oni Kabuto? This is like the worst thing. You don't want to be like this. This it's is disgusting. disgusting. Like, they're so scattered all over the place. These stupid beetles, man. I had to run around everywhere. It was just one at a time. They're always in these awkward spots where you can't see them immediately if you haven't been farming them before and know where they are. But finally, we got enough of them too. So I've got 155. That should be enough. No more, no less. So with that all out of the way, the first thing to do, let's bring them up to speed. So the weapon. Mona, I'm sorry, you're going to have to deal with having a apprentice's notebook. It doesn't even have a passive, it's a level 1 weapon, I didn't realize. Okay, next thing, level. Let's bring him up. Cardinal Sin, we're losing 270 XP, boys. Okay, first ascension. As I get stronger, my intuition gets sharper. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Didn't read out a full essay and poem like uh, Kazaha did, which I appreciate a lot. And it seems like as we level him up, he gets Animo damage bonus as well. So is he meant to be main DPS? I don't really get it, but let's see. 
Okay, so this time let's go grab a 300 EXP for him. In terms of the team comp, you guys can see it now already. Uh, I'm trying to do something just like the avatar, right? So we've already got air on Heizo himself. Zhongli will be our Geo Daddy, of course. Yelan, I was tossing up between Yelan and Xingqiu. Xingqiu has damage reduction and the healing, whereas Yelan probably does a little bit more damage. But since I already have two shielders on the team, I thought, why not take Yelan, especially because one of her talents here. So based on the number of types you have, Yelan's max HP increases. So because we have have multiple characters, this should mean Yelan does more damage as well. And then finally, Toma, he's the only character that we can do that's off field that shoots fire. My Toma is not especially leveled. We'll figure out how to build him a little bit later in the video, but for now, this is probably gonna have to do. Okay, test out his damage. He's doing like about a hundred ish per auto. The kick, not really huge damage, but I do love these animations. They're so sick. Let's see, Yelan. Oh my god. I swear every video is just going to end up being me turning it into a Yelan showcase at this point. Who's this? Could you help me? I only need one raw meat. She wants my raw meat. Uh, Bruh. Mm, sure. Uh, I got I got that raw meat for you. It's right here. It's right here. Screen fades to black. I've been mugged. Oh, sh where's my left kidney? And that's it. Heizo is now level 40. So Heizo can ascend, get rid of those stinky beetles. It appears my combat abilities are advancing. Mm -hmm. That is not all cognitive. Huh? I think he need to eat more beetles. Quick, get him more beetles. I I can't be bothered with you. Heizo, sweetie, it's time for your beetles. Oh, nothing to say this time though. He's too busy eating the beetles. <laughs> all right, let's take him up to sixty. Okay, that's level 60 for him. Let's see, Heizo, are you doing any extra work? Okay, he's doing... I, saw th I think I saw a thousand in there. It might just be the swirl. Okay, never mind. He's going back to doing 50 damage. Yikes. All right, so Heizo, more beetles. Beetles yummy. At this rate, the name Cyclone is really going to stick, isn't it? Forget Cyclone. He would just be known as that weird guy that eats beetles all day. Him and Ether can insta send him. Show us what you got. No dialogue. They're real stingy with this one. Okay, so 18% animo damage is not amazing. Hopefully we can bump that up a bit later. And once again, wasting 100 XP, guys. Who is this in vain guy? He's just a whale player now. Wasting 100 XP? Wait, I can't ascend. <gasps> what? I need more beetles. Okay, guys. Well, this is pain. <sighs> All right, let's go get some more beetles. There's one here, we're a tiny bit closer. Wait, hold up, there's a character that shows us, right? Unique resources, does that count? Can this man identify beetles? But now the problem is, oh wait, there's a beetle here somewhere, right? Oh, oh, <laughs> whoops, uh, we don't talk about it, we don't talk about it. I'm sorry, Mr. John Lee. I'm probably gonna cut this out in post, but I'm climbing all over the place just for these beetles. One, two, three. Okay, four. I remember there was some in here. Okay, that's two over here. Cute couple, pick you both up. All right, Heizo, it's finally time. Oh, we, we don't have enough gems. We don't have enough gems. This is it, all these freaking beetles for this moment. What do I get? 6% animo damage? Jeez. Thanks for your trust and support, my dear partner. Uh -huh, I couldn't uh -huh. have made it this far without your help. You couldn't. I got so many beetles for you. I suppose we have time for a quick uh -huh. high five. But then let's get back out there and solve some more That's mysteries. it. That's all I get. All those beetles. All those gems. I get only a high five. Okay, well, well, he is cute, so I'll forgive him. But are you serious? Okay, now we're level 81. So final stats before I have any artifacts. This is just with weapons. We've got... 10k HP, 700 attack, 5 crit rate, 105 crit damage, and the main thing is his ascension stat is animo damage bonus, 24. Oh, and can't forget about these as well. Okay, so the next thing for us to do is probably his talents. So let's bring this up to 8, 8, and 6. So here I'm probably going to be going for an 8, 8, 6 build with the talents. 
And I'll probably edit this into some sort of quick montage for you guys, so here we go. Sucrose, I think you scammed me. That doesn't look like 10%. And we're done. I don't think I'll go any further. Honestly, the last upgrade doesn't look that impressive to me. If you made it this far in the video, why not support me for free? And the best way to do that is through a like, sub, and hitting that bell. Thank you so much for your support and back to the video. So now that we got Heizo up to max ascension and we've put the weapon on him and done his talents, really the only thing left to do would be his artifacts. So I'm still thinking of running 4 piece VV, but I think we're gonna go with a DPS build. So we're looking for crit and we're looking for attack. So probably starting with the flower, let me have a look. Um, most of these, I think I was looking for EM and energy recharge and I chucked the rest. Hmm. Okay, so it's between these two, right? So this one has five crit rolls and two ER. This one has four crit rolls. So I think, sorry, Sayu, we're taking that off you. Next up, we've got five crit rolls here. Hmm. Let's see if we can find something better. There will be some very sad pieces in here. Let's see. Anything else with double crit? No. Okay, well, let's take this piece. Next up is the sands. Let's have a look. We're looking for attack percent. And then ideally as much crit as we can. I don't think he needs that much energy recharge since his burst is not the main focus and it also doesn't cost that much energy. Let's see. This is two crit rolls. This is two crit rolls, but they suck. Hmm. Can we get lucky? Let me think. Oh, I know. I remember. I have some animo damage on set pieces. No, 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 no. From, from ages ago when I was farming for Venti. This one. Two attack, two crit rate, two crit damage. It's a bit spread out, but honestly, that's not bad. And that means we can flex for an onset. Okay, maybe let's take a look at our circlet options first. We probably want crit rate because the weapon is crit damage. Hmm, that has potential. Anything else? Okay, how about, how about we level this one up first? It's already got crit. Let's see what happens. What's the worst that could happen, right guys? Here we go. Nothing bad's gonna happen. It's a good, oh! <gasps> Oh, I did the thing again. I did the thing again where I used up all of the bottle EXP. Well, we got one extra crit roll out of it. Um, At this point, you just... Oh, I have no more materials to. Yikes. Yikes. Um, What do we do? I guess we chuck in, we chuck in some pieces, right? Ideally, I don't want to use too many of my five star pieces because we do want to try to re-roll for a dendro goblet once that comes out. But, you know, desperate times, right, guys? All right, make it worth it. One more crit roll. It's just that easy, boom. Oh my God, it's happening. What the hell is happening? The crit damage so high, it's almost the same as the crit rate, eh? Sheesh. Well, I think this is the, this is the opposite of what happened last time when I wanted EM. This time I'm asking for crit and it gave me crit. Well, I guess the 20x, no, it wasn't even 20, 40x bottled EXP was not a waste. Which means, guys, offset attack piece? Maybe. Let's have a look. Crit rate, ideally, because we got crit damage. So that's, what the hell? Huh? I just had that lying around. What the hell is that? 28, 29. Let's call it 30 crit rate. Oh, well, crit value on the crit rate. That's 40... 45 crit value. Okay. Thank you, Rosaria, for your sacrifice. Oh my god. What is this stats going to look like now? So 1.5k attack. Okay, that's partially because we have a 4-star weapon with a low base attack. 42 EM, but we're not exactly going for the swirl damage. 74% crit rate. 196% crit damage. 85% animo damage bonus. Plus the Witsith passive which can either give attack, elemental damage, or 480 EM? Jeez, okay. 
I think Heizo is ready. But, but, before we put him into the Zhongli team, I still am a friendship ho to the end, tried and true. So let me go do my commissions with Heizo and get some friendship EXP at the same time. And let's see how this goes. All right, guys, we're back. And this time we're actually going to go do our commissions real quick before we get to test out Avatar Heizo. So first commission. Actually, before we even do that, we got to change the wings. This is very important. Very, very important. <sighs> I think we have a winner from the very... Ooh, actually. Damn, he's just like Kazaha. I like these two wings a lot. Ooh, I kind of like the white ones more personally. But orange kind of was bussin', not gonna lie. Okay. Wyatt, why have you lost your keys again? Every other day, man, I'm getting this man's keys. Why can't we see him with elemental sight? Is it because he stinks? It's did a big stinky. This one? Okay, let's go. Just want to punch stuff, man. Hand over the primos. Thank you, thank you. Okay, and a fist bump, why not? Don't get too friendly, though. Don't expect me to find them next time. So, our Heizo is built for combat. I'm expecting the E to do some decent damage. Let's see. Okay. 20k, and I didn't fully charge it. Let's try that one again. Kick. Kick did 18, but I think the main thing is the E, right? Oh my god. What the heck? It's One Punch Man, actually. Is he Avatar or is he One Punch Man? Okay, that feels pretty nice. And one taps it. Sick. Wait till we get all the other stuff going on too. Then it's gonna really pop off. So this one, let's try. Maybe I'll get a little bit of energy for him first. Oh, that just killed everyone. Never mind. Let's try with a little Xing Chu action. Oh my god. I can't really speak for the damage because we're just doing commissions, but I can tell you that this is insanely fun. I know I'm very late to the party. I've only just started leveling my Heizo or leveled him now, but oh my god. Also, I should probably mention my Heizo is C2, so I think he has this grouping thing on his burst. Also, sometimes he looks stinky. I think apparently someone said in the, the comments one time that, that that was a constellation. Ow. Hit him with the water. Hit him with the burst. Woo! 53, what the hell? I just tapped it, I didn't even hold or anything. Is it meant to do that much damage? Hold on, hold on, what? Okay, kick. Kick is around 16, that's fine. Right, but what the hell is this? Oh my god. How did I do 50k before? What the heck was that? I probably need some time to figure out how this character works. Um, is that the last commission? That was it? Oh my god, we speed ran that. Now people on stream can finally stop talking about my level 6 Heizo. Actually, speaking of which, let me go spend some resin. And meet our first volunteer and victim, uh, Pyro Regisvine. So, the general gist of this team, I guess, is that... Well, first Zhongli is Geo, and he's probably one of the more useful Geo characters to put on. Uh, he gives Elemental Shred, which is very hard to get for Animo units. And he also shields him up, making you pretty much unkillable. Yelon, she's great. Uh, obviously, her burst does a lot of damage, and also her passive gets more damage, based on how many different elements you have. So I guess it makes sense for an Avatar build. Next up, Toma. He's the only Pyro character that can kind of do off-field damage. Consistently, he might not do a lot, but he's here, you know? And actually, while we're at it, let's quickly take a look at our team. So, Zhong Li has got Homer, four piece Millilith, and he's got what? 35, 36k HP. Yellen's got 39k HP. She's got the Aqua and four piece of, of Emblem of Severed Fate. Um, let's see. Energy recharge looking a little tight, but that's okay. Toma is not really leveled up, but he will be for a future video, so I'll definitely be showing that off later. We're going to go with the Favonius Lance to try to give everyone else a little bit more energy. And let's take a look at his artifacts. So what does that make out Toma then? Well, obviously he's not leveled, but... Okay, 18k HP, that's fine. 31% crit rate is enough to proc Favonius. Crit damage and enough ER, that's the main thing. We don't really need to focus too much on his HP and talent levels because Zhong Li and Yelan will be doing the heavy lifting. Tomo is here just to look cool, you know? Look cute, look cool. See, he's okay with it. All right, so first victim. I mean, uh, test subject. I mean, uh, volunteer. Here we go. So I think you punch until you get max stacks and then you go boom. Oh my god. Well, I think Yelan did a lot there. 
Ah, uh, let's go find something a little tankier. Crap, is that Hydro? Or is that Cryo? I guess we'll find out once I start hitting it. I think that's Cryo? Please, man. Let's see. Is he ready to take damage? Q, E, Q. E, start punching. Getting them stacks. Let's hit him with the E, 75k. Okay, burst 37. Oh my god, we're shredding him. Hey, hey. Don't, you, don't even give him a chance. Let's finish him. Woo. Oh my god. And that was so satisfying to play. That's the main thing. Okay. So who's next? Who's next, huh? Let's fight BMA. Once again, no energy, but... Oh my god, even his... Uh, even that animation's different. Maybe... Maybe... Yanfei needs a Favoni spur after this. Okay. We got our Pyro going on. We got our Hydro going on. We got our Geo going on. E. Okay, 40k. Kick him. Okay. Man, this is fun. Okay, and I got my stacks ready to go. Oh, no. Well... Toma was always here for uh, moral support, right, guys? Okay, let's do it. 67k? I don't know how much the burst did. That did not do a lot on the burst. But it seems like his main thing is 1, 2, charge attack. Oh, if I could actually cancel. And then you hit him with the E. There's no way you're actually meant to just hold it, right? I think you're meant to punch, build up the stacks, and then just tap. So one thing I'm noticing immediately is I don't think I'm generating enough energy for the team. So let's make it a bit easier. So Favonius Bow here. Uh, do I have another Favonius Lance? No, I don't. I think we're going to have to settle like this. But that should be better. Let's let's give the next boss a go. I'm thinking Magu Kenki. Oh, he's so nice. He's even giving me a chance to quickly get some more energy. 56? 58k? Oh. Oh my god, he almost died. Uh, look away. Look away, look away. I said he shouldn't die, but got a little spicy. Okay, Favonius Brock. Okay, perfect. Alright, here we go. Alright, max stacks already. 38k, burst. 19k. E. E. And we're done. Beautiful. Alright, it got a little bit hairy there in the middle, but other than that, really, really good. I'm liking this. This is like something I would play in the overworld. Maybe some abyss runs. You could probably make him work, honestly. I'm sure, I'm sure it works, right? But I feel like this is something that if you want to just have fun, and since it's a kind of like a meme build already, yeah, it would be something I would just run around the overworld, do my commissions. But if we do want to push for a little bit more challenging content, let's try the Ruin Serpent first, followed by Senora and Raiden. Come on, just stand still for a second. Okay. So here's one. Here's the fire. Here's the shield. Oh, I can't get out. I'm getting sucked, bro. Oh my god, I just tapped it and it did 36k. I think it had one stack. Are you kidding me? Here we go. One. Vaped. Immediately into an E, immediately into a Q. There we go. So not the absolute fastest, but I don't think we're expecting that. Instead, we get this, which is so sick. I don't think that, that will ever get tiring. Just the animations are like so fluid. They feel really impactful when you connect. Real test time. Senora, Senora. The first boss that I would consider somewhat challenging, I guess. That's not in the abyss. Oh, I didn't skip the animation. Uh, I suck. No, it's because I, I just failed to skip in front of like, I don't know, 5,000 people. A little embarrassing. Oh my god, having two Favonius is kind of broken. The time it takes to get energy is like so short. Okay. And then we kick. Get out of here. Easy. Alright, phase two. Can we one cycle her? This is going to be... Pretty hard. 
But maybe we can make it work. Let's wait to get the E. Burst. E. Immediately E at the start. Okay. And hopefully we can get one more in the rotation. Before she starts going crazy. Let's see. She runs here. Big E. 41k. One rotation is going to be really tight. No. Where is she going? Quick. Don't die. One rotation. No. No. No, 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 no. No. Oh, we were so close. I was a big baby about it. I should have just committed. All right, show yourself. Oh. Big kick. There we go. What we borderline one rotation her. I think that's that counts for something at least. All right, guys. All right, let's heal up and go fight Raiden. So with Raiden, I think the odds of us one rotationing her is going to be really low, but we can dream, right? We can try. So shield up. Yell on E to get some energy first. Let's see how we go. Where'd he go? There she is. E? 78k? What? That was huge. Okay. Oh, come on. I'm not that weak. Alright, we're looking for the fake one. The X, the X. This one. Oh my god, I'm not paying attention. Here we go. So some energy. Toma burst. Yell an E. Hopefully this is enough energy for her too. Alright. Go get it, Heiser. Go get it. Oh no, she's upped. How come she transforms so fast? Alright. This is Avatar versus God. I mean, there's no reason for us to stop using our skills now. Might as well stay Avatar mode. I should have used double Favonius from the start. The energy generation is nuts. I love it. Dude, I'm literally from one character to another. I just cycle back and forth. And they keep getting Favonius for each other. Okay, go, 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 go. We can do this. Then burst. Then E. Heiser's got the max stacks. 56k. 28k. If we can just get enough to E one more time. Boom. 58k. Okay. That should be it, right? One more. Are you serious? Come on. Come on, please. Huh? She just she doesn't want to die. Oh my god. Apart from that scuffed ending, we were able to do it okay. Now I'm just thinking, is there anything else we want to test this on? I guess the only other thing I really want to test is how well they group up mobs. So I'm thinking, where are there a lot of mobs? Let's see. First? The sucking range is not very really big, is it? Though that is so satisfying. Like, if you ever wanted to do okay damage, but feel like you're a god shooting a billion different elements at the same time, this is the build. <laughs> the one last thing I would say with this build is you need to make sure you have double Favonius running, and I've got R5 to make this work, because what ends up happening is because you've got everyone with different elements, and Zhongli, my Zhongli at least, is not generating that much energy for the rest of the team, um, you're going to have some energy issues. Especially since Yellen's burst is quite heavy and expensive. Though if you use Xing Chu, he can essentially battery himself with the um, Sacrificial Sword. So yeah, I think that's it guys. In summary, I think the build is fun, it looks cool, and it's kind of not practical. But Heizo does have other meta teams that you can definitely play. And he has a role to fill if you don't have Sucrose. And thank you all so much for watching to the end of the video. I used a slightly different format for this resin video than I normally do, so let me know what you guys think about it. Make sure to like, sub, and hit that bell if you haven't already. You can find me streaming quite often on Twitch these days, and join our community Discord, link to both down in the description. Also, our Twitch community has come up with the community name, Bullies. Firstly, since my character has some references to a bull in its design, and also, well, because they bully me. So let me know in the comments down below how you all feel about that community name. But with that all said, I'll see you all in the next video.